this was never going to be an overnight haul. This is not going to be something that you get a new coaching staff in here, you get a new front office in here, and everything magically changes. Uh, you get here, you're new on the job, there's a lot of things that are going on, and you know some of the obstacles that you're trying to work through. As you all know, we went into last year with the most dead money uh, in the history of the NFL, $86 million in dead money. Because the salary cap constraints were so significant, you knew that it was going to take a couple of years to even begin to see what Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith want to build in Atlanta. We have an open checkbook for no, the we, first time. We've got more money than we've ever had. We, we do have a lot of cap space and we're excited you know, about our plan going into free agency. You get a chance to build the team that you envision. Patience from the organization, the patience from the owner, the patience from the fans. And because of that discipline, we're able to put ourselves in a little bit better position right We've now. We've got to <laughs> make a splash. In free agency first? Absolutely. Right. We have to go out and find good, tough, competitive football players. Now I think it's time for some difference makers. Go get a Jesse Bates. Go get a guy that can help our football team win. But more importantly, Mike, we are news. We are moving the needle. We haven't done that. You now have north of, what, 65 million? How much of a big spender will you be? We had a plan from the very beginning, and we knew this was going to be an offseason where we could add some players, and yet we still have to have discipline. You're always building. You want to build a championship roster not just for one year, but for several years. And so you have to stay, have some balance, have some discipline, and make sure you're getting players at the right value because you're putting together a puzzle. You're not trying to add a few players. It's, we have a, a, a whole team that, that we have to put together. And so you, you wanna make sure that you're doing the right things and staying within parameters at every spot. On day one of NFL free agency, there have been now four moves, okay, that have happened that are being reported that the Falcons are going to uh, make official on Wednesday. John o. Smith, they make a trade for him, tied in from New England. And this is probably the most exciting moment of my NFL career. 11 touchdowns in his last two seasons in Nashville. A nice catch downfield. Smith, and he breaks the tosses. End zone. Oh, John o. Smith. Now, if you're not familiar, he played for Arthur Smith when he was with the Titans. When I figured that this thing would be real and me, me and Art would be getting back together, you know, my, my, my energy just went through the roof. It's poetic, honestly. It, it is. Every time I step on that field, you're going to get every ounce of me, every passion. Put the ball in my hands anywhere on the field and um, I'm just going to make plays. Just however, teams Mike Garofolo are more than capable right now of negotiating with their own guys, including an offensive lineman in Atlanta that was set to play on the fifth-year option, but Chris Lindstrom just made himself a lot more. He grades out as one of the best players in the National Football League is his position. The finest group on a team is the offensive line, and to keep one of the guys that's now burgeoning one of the leaders on that team, uh, when you start talking about what Chris Lindstrom has been able to do, I think he's garnered a lot of respect around the league. We do want to prioritize two things. We want to prioritize our players and prioritize the front. He is now here in the prime of his career, Five-year deal, $105 million, resets the guard market for offensive guards, but he's the best guard. The, the person he is, the way he operates, the way he competes on a daily basis, obviously he's got a lot of physical talent. He's an amazing person, and he's the type of guy that we want to build around. The start of this free agency period came more in the middle of the defense and from the linebacker position. Two guys in Anyamata and Ellis that obviously Terry Fontenot and Ryan Nielsen know quite well from their days in New Orleans. Just the way they play football, we talk about versatility, we talk about toughness and we talk about violence and competitiveness. They really fit those characteristics. David Onyemata comes over from the Saints. Defensive tackle. Grady gets some help up front and a guy that's really gave us issues over the last few years. Runs into his own blocker and then is brought down by Onyemata. It's a, it's a great opportunity, you know, for my old D-line coach who is now the D coordinator over here. You know, we're, we're, we're really pumped to, uh, to get this thing going. 23 sacks over his last six seasons. Under pressure, and he's going down this time. It's David on Yamada. I, I, I play, play my heart out. Expect great things. Wins on every down, every down and distance. Peyton Ellis, a linebacker who had seven sacks last year. I'm so excited. It's just such a blessing. Thankful, and, and I'm, I'm ready to come and, and put on a show out here. He just goes out and balls. Steps up in the pocket and gets sacked. Caden Ellis. Second and 17. Under pressure again and going down. Has a great year in a contract year, shows his athleticism, shows his versatility. Passionate 
I'm just ready to go. I'm excited to see you know, how they want to use me exactly, and I'm excited to get to work. Start with the Taylor Heineke piece, expected to sign with the Atlanta Falcons. You know, my family's from around here, I'm from around here. Full circle, you know, this is where it all started. Fell in love with football here, grew up in Swanee. The Falcons have said they intend for Desmond Ritter to be their starting quarterback. He's coming in to, to, to be the backup quarterback, and but he's a guy that anytime he's got an opportunity to play, he's gone on and, and, and he's done really well. You know Taylor coming in is a guy that gives you a chance to win. He understands his role. Yeah, I plan on just trying to be that veteran presence, and I'm going to come in and help him in any way I can, um, help the team any way I can. I've kind of been doing that the last two years in Washington. Unfortunately, those last two years, the, the starter kind of went down. Had to go in there and play. Again, he's able to escape. Keeps the play alive. Runs for the first down. Dives for the pylon. Is he in? Yes. Touchdown. What a run. But you know, hopefully Desmond can stay healthy and I can help him in any way he needs. The other thing the Falcons have done today, and this is the big splash, is Jesse Bates. Safety. Probably the best free agent safety on the market, right? Yep. Uh, coming over from Cincinnati. I'm all signed up. Ready to go. Everything we talk about, and we talk about it, starts with the makeup. And we want players that are not only going to be good at their position, but they're going to make people around them better. And he's done that through his career. Good block by Hurst at that left tackle. Oh, he's had Sneed, but look who jumped in front. Jesse Bates brings a, a degree of credibility in the back end. If I'm a safety, or if I'm a quarterback, I know who Jesse Bates is. Second down. Rivers off play action. That one's going to be intercepted, picked off by Jesse Bates. Very exciting to be here. And I think that my role is going to be a leader. You got a lot of talent, a lot of young people, um, and a lot of great people that care about winning. So, um, like I said, I'm excited to be a part of this. You know, someone that's going to be uh, the same guy every day. Like I said, whether it's good or bad, um, it's going to be the same Jesse Bates the third every single day. Our goal going into free agency is we want to touch every level and, and add to every position. We want to improve the total team. We're going to continue to dig and find football players. I saw a great opportunity um, you know, for me to come in and uh, feel like I can be a difference maker on this defense. This is a place where I can win. This is a place where I can get coached at a high level and I can get better, um, but also a place that I'll enjoy. I think it's just going to be a great opportunity for me to go out there and play and make some big plays. I really feel like uh, you know it's going to surprise a lot of people this year. This team's going to be a you know very um, competitive, tough team and win a lot of ball games. This is a guy who went in there and says we can do it. You know, a lot of belief happening internally. Signing my name upstairs was amazing, and I'm just excited for the opportunity and to be able to play with the guys and really see what we can do this season. And I, I think we'll shock some. People. Derek Carr, far corner in the end zone. Collins. Are you getting a really competitive corner? Um, a guy who likes to, uh, you know, get his hands on receivers um, and, you know, get in the run game a little bit, get my nose bloody. Energy uh, each and every day coming out there to work um, and just, just work out there showing uh, how bad I want it. Deep shot to the end zone for Miller and it is caught for a touchdown. You know, just being a veteran leader. You know, going out there, giving everything I got. Arthur Smith said he wanted um, a violent D-line, you know, and I could bring a lot of violence, that's for sure. Hunt the release, the set. Oh, knocked away! That's a fumble! Campbell knocked it away! The Falcons doing a lot of uh, great work this offseason. Terry Fontenot had a long conversation with him at the Shrine Bowl about how they are building that team piece by piece. The next big piece, the number eight overall pick in the draft. What's their strategy going into next month? What it helps when you do a lot of good things in free agency, it just helps you to have more discipline. And it helps to be really clear in whether you're moving around, whether you're moving up or moving down, it helps you to have discipline and say, let's just continue to improve this team. And knowing who they are, if they're truly passionate about what they do, they want to be the best football player they can be, they want to be the best person they can be, regardless of where they are in their life, we believe we have a strong culture and a really good locker room, and we want to make sure we add to that in the right way. The Atlanta Falcons select